Hey y'all, how are you? Welcome back. Jackson M. Haskell here again. So, the quick announcement is that the video coming on the 22nd. Um, we're talking about HBO Max's new content. Sorry, HBO, yeah, HBO Max's new content. Uh, I'm super excited to talk about it. Sorry, not HBO Max, just HBO. It's coming on the 22nd. And that video on the 21st, which is coming right now. Uh, we're talking about Invisible Man Returns. And here we go. Invisible Man Returns was released in 1940. It's a prequel, sequel to the Invisible Man, released in 1933. One of my goals for the rest of the year is to some old horror films. Uh, which is cool. Um, yeah, the film was released on January 12th, 1940. I did well, made it four, almost three times as long, which is great. Um, distributed and production company was Universal Studios. Let's talk about it. So the director was a guy named Joe May. He's an Australian film director and film producer and a pioneer of the German cinema. Never really heard of him. Uh, you have Kurt Siad Mack, who's a German American novelist and screenwriter, known for work in a horror genre and sci fi genre. Um, <laughs> he worked on The Wolfman. And yeah, he was a writer for The Wolfman from 1941, and also his movie and book called Donovan's. Ah, uh, sorry. Donovan's Brain, which is cool. And his brother was Robert C. Ed Mack. Uh, Producer in his was Cedric Belfrage, um, founder of the National Guardian, um, and he's an English film critic, journalist, writer, and political activist, which is cool. Uh, it's this movie is based on *This Old Man*, uh, the book by H. G. Wells, released in 1897. So let's talk about the actors because there's a couple of them. Who are famous? Um, you have Sir Cedric Webster Hardwick, who's an English stage, who was an English stage and film actor. I uh, don't really know who he is personally. Uh, <laughs> this next guy is probably really, really famous. So you have um, Vincent Price. A.K.A. Vincent Leonard Price Jr. He was an American actor, an art historian, art collector, and gourmet cook. Um, he appeared on one, over 100 stage television radios. Like, oh, it was crazy. He has two, two stars in the Walk of Fame, Hollywood Walk of Fame, which you don't see. Uh, one for television, one for motion pictures. Really, really famous guy. Um, House on Haunted Hill from uh, 1959, House of Wax, um, House of Usher, Haunted Palace. He also appeared in the Batman uh, series over the 1950s as Egghead. But overall, um, such a famous actor. Um, his last film was actually Edward Scissorhands, which I hope to cover sometime. Don't quote me on that. Um, let's talk about some other actors because I could go on and talk about it. Him. You have Nan Gray, who is an American 
film actress. I've never heard of her. Um, Last film was in 1941. Looks like, but I, I've never, heard, I've never heard of her. Uh, sadly, she seems like an interesting person. We also have John Sutton. Uh, he was a British actor with a prolific career in Hollywood, more than 30 years. Um. Born in India, which is now part of Pakistan, where he was born. Um, House of Thousand Candles. Um, and his last film he worked on was in 1964, which is cool. Um, Yeah, he also Cecil Calloway, South American uh, 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 character actor, known for Gaston's Coming Dinner and Look at the Irish, which is cool. Um, I only need beer. Um, he was an English actor known as Alan Liam Napier, the Vern. He was beginning in the West End, which is a uh, long career as in Britain and later in Hollywood. I think people of my generation might not know who he is, but I would know him from the 1960s Batman show, where he actually is Alfred Pennyworth, which is cool. Um, such an interesting person, a cool person. Um, let's talk about some other actors. Forrester Harvey, which who is an Irish film actor, and Paul England. Um, he served actually in World War One. In the Second World War, he worked for the uh, British government on land lease, and he got a U.S. Congressional Medal. Um, he. His first film was Just a Bell, and what is. I don't know who he is, sadly. Uh, I wish I did. I guess I don't know a lot about British filmmakers, sadly. I wish I did, or British actors. So we don't really talk about it. Um, but I seriously hope you all enjoy. And, like, I. Oh! Try to mention let's let's talk horror August 25th we're talking about Slither which is I believe a James Gunn film so I seriously hope you all enjoy and like I said um video on the 22nd we're talking about HBO's new content which is great and Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Hope you all enjoy. Bye-bye.